barrels and everything. We actually make it right there. Where do you grow it? Oh. You said you make it? Where, where do you make it? Oh, you right said? here, actually. And we store oh! It. Yeah, it's actually on a little farm. It's, it's about the... 20, 30 minutes from here. Really? We store it's very smooth there. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's cool. So you got a little... Oh, that's really cool. So everything is made here? Yep. Yeah, wow. Wow, that is so interesting. What do you think your best... Uh... This is so interesting. So this is here in Herman. This is uh, like a winery. Cool. Hmm. So yeah, I will pour you guys. It's, really, it's actually it. sweeter than I anticipated. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, they make some really good cocktails if you guys. Like. I bet. Wow. <laughs> yeah. uh, Okay. So, yeah, I'll pour you guys our straight bourbon here next. Sure, okay. And our mash bill on this straight bourbon here, we'll make it with 70% corn, 20% rye, 10% malted barley. And we'll wow. It for about two to three years. Oh, wow. wow. Yep. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> that was rye. <laughs> I, did it too. I did it too fast. That's good, though. That is strong. <laughs> I, like, I, I did. I did it too fast. I should have eaten something before I did it. That was really good, though. I just did it too fast. I got all excited. That was good, though. That was really good. Oh, yeah, one. We did have some, yeah, water water. <laughs> oh, that was good. We had Man. some habanero salt. See, would that go good with that? <laughs> wow. Which, which which one's your favorite? Actually, I like this one right here. Really? Right okay. Here. We actually finished it in French oak stage. Really? Cool. <laughs> Very cool. And it's like, ooh, this is more nice. <laughs> Water. <laughs> we, we can't put a little vodka in there. Too. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to be all happy. <laughs> no, that's, that's good. So then this one right here is our French oak finish. We'll take this exact distillate here. We'll actually dump it in a stainless steel hopper. And for an additional year, we'll add uh, these French oak Ooh, that's stays. really good. I like that and one. We'll add these French oak stays, too. You'll kind of get another level of complexity. Well, so what did you say about those? How does What did you do so with these those? these French oak stays, we'll dump this into a barrel. And okay. for an additional year, we'll add these French oak stays, too. Really? So then, yeah, you'll kind of have another level of complexity. Wow. I think I like, I think I like the uh, <coughs> straight bourbon. Yeah, I like that a little, little bit more. Yeah, we'll be a little bit darker too in color to speak to that. Oh, that one's good. Mm -hmm. Is that that's the one you just? That's this one here. Yeah, that's wow, that's, that's the one you liked, huh? Yeah, that's my favorite. I think that yeah, that so far that's my favorite too. That one's really good. I tend to really like double oak bourbons a lot. Mm -hmm. That's kind of similar to like a double oak bourbon. Yeah, wow, really that is really good. What's your what's your typical drink of choice? What do you? Ah, uh, I don't drink too much anymore. Uh, but I do like whiskeys. Uh, okay. I do like whiskeys. I don't, there's not a, so I'm in LA and there's a place I go to, the guy knows me there. He, he makes me some kind of concoction. I don't know what it is, but it's really good. I don't even know what it is. It's just really good. We actually got concoction cards over there. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, we can take one of these. Oh, that is so cool. I like this place. This is nice. Uh, I got Old Earl. Oh, that's my middle name. Old Earl. Old Earl. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's ironic. This is really interesting. So you got the whole recipe. So is Herman a big like wine, like drinkery? Yeah, it is. I, what's the? Yeah, it looks nice. <laughs> I was trying to think of a nicer word, like people who enjoy beverage is like a bunch of. <laughs> Well, I mean, there's a reason why they have the trolleys that take everybody everywhere because they're not fit to drive. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is really so let's cool. Try the, let's try the, uh, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, they make an awesome Manhattan out of this, actually. Ooh, I bet that's true. Really? So this right here, the mash bill on this will pretty much be the inverse of the bourbon, where we make this one with 70% corn. We'll do this one with 70% rye. Okay. With about the same amount of age, two to three years. Mm, it's got a really interesting... Oh, that's interesting. Kind of finishes too with some kind of dark chocolate yeah. yeah, it has a it has a very interesting aftertaste. <laughs> so far, that one has been the best. I agree. Oh, that one. That one is favorite been, so far. But that one's really good. It's it's hard to explain the 
the the aftertaste has like I a mean, smoky, I, yeah, woody flavor. It's more of a, like a musky taste to it. But that the straight the straight is my favorite so far. Yeah. Looking forward to the wildflower. Yeah. I'll be it has like a like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and so, what is it that makes man? This is some nice. really good stuff. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. So, what is it that makes this one its own thing? So this right here, what we'll do, we'll actually. Kind of acts up and it starts to get a little. Oh no, reverses. Just keep going. <laughs> there we go. There we go. It's, here, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, you could. Uh, well, let me let me see. Let me see what I could do with this. Okay. Well, anyways, we'll add actually. Uh, Ooh, uh, that is strong. Right here too, and rose petals. So we we'll get a ton of floral. Wow. And we'll, uh, we'll make Wait, it you you put that in the drink? Yeah, we'll make it with 100 percent corn, and we'll actually. Distill it similar to like a gin. Really? We'll add these ingredients to a basket mm. here. Really? Instead of aging in the white oak like these other ones here, we'll aging okay. for one year. And I can really cake. taste that chamomile. Yeah. Okay, so, 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 really so that gets put in the drink, or no, not in this. Oh, yeah. oh as we're distilling it. Yeah. Oh, as you're distilling. Yeah, got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say. Yeah, a little basket will insert it in right there. Right. Very interesting. That chamomile's really strong in there. It's good. Some people love the floral notes, and some people. Yeah. I think overall, though, <laughs> I think overall, I think my favorite set. Uh, yeah, that one, huh? That one was solid. Was, was good. That one was really good. Yeah, that one was so really, what, really good. What do you good. recommend making with something like this? Uh, I guess it would be, I, I would recommend more like the old fashions with these and then like more of the Manhattan. So okay. I think possibly like a Sazerac, maybe. Okay. Like that. Yeah. That was, that was just good. And we a bartender up front there, her name's Sable. She's, she's a delight. She knows. She's a bar expert. I'm kind of more of the whiskey. I like to drink my whiskey straight. Oh, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, do, I do old fashioned. I'm starting to like Missouri more and more. I got this. I got <laughs> Brian. So I have, uh, we, we go to the same congregation. So a friend of ours, she uh, took me to Branson. And I'd never been to Branson. Oh, okay. So I was out there. I had a good time. Because I'm from a kind of a big city. So I'm used to like having things to do. And I'm like, wait a minute. I can like get buzzed and go to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have more reasons to, like, come out to Missouri to visit. Well, he also did, uh, he did the whole thing down at the lake. Lake of the Ozarks. Yeah. It's, like, it's really cool. That's cool. Yeah. 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 Oh. The good news is, at least in my experience, it's, like, it's not too far to any one interesting thing in Missouri. Like, yeah, it's, you're relatively close. It's yeah, not it's like, like... Well, when we're right there in Jefferson City, so it's just like, oh, we have, like, Columbia or St. Louis or Kansas City or Herman, you know, or Springfield or whatever. There's all kinds of different things. 